My first guest is an Academy Award winning actress who can be seen in her one woman Broadway show, Whoopi. Please welcome Whoopi Goldberg. Very nice of you to stop by. Well, you know, it was nice to see. I figured I should see you once before the year's over. That's right. Well, that see was how right. you doing? Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank good, you very good, much. Good. The band sounds fabulous. Band sounds good. Audience, very happy you're here. Yes, I, yeah. I tell them, I tell the crowd before the show, they, you know, they don't often know. They wait in line. They don't know when the show. I tell right. them you're here. They get very excited. Doesn't okay. happen every night. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Some nights. Nice Arnold wasn't really excited to sit. I saw that. You know, I was <laughs> He's very backstage. Hurt by that. Yeah, yeah, I kicked him. He's a hardcore Republican. He's yeah, mad I kicked at you. him yeah. twice. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> not the celebrity I'd go kicking, no. but, but why not? I can run. Exactly. See, yeah, right. little, little feet, and I'm. I'll get you, Whoopi Goldberg. Come back. <laughs> um, now, there's so much to talk about. Uh, it, it's been 20 years since you did the original. Right. Uh, version right. of this show right, right, right. and it's it's about you, things that uh, that have happened in your life it, it all becomes part of the characters in the show so yeah. you're incorporating a lot of the life changes you've gone through right, right. in the last 20 years yeah because it's you know i figure you should write about things you know sure so i'm talking about all the crazy things that have gone on and had some fun with them and I, you know the, i've changed quite a bit mm -hmm. in 20 years it got a little wider Oh, well, you talk, you talk about in the show, yes. you know, dealing with a little bit of weight gain. No, it's not a little bit, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about booty. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you know uh -huh. I mean? right. And I, I, I know that so many people go through it, and mm -hmm. you kind of, you know, you look in the magazines, and everybody wants to be this big. But right, right. It's just not going to happen in my lifetime again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because I'm bragging right. about, you know, heft. But you know what? A lot of people uh, like the big booty. They really do. I know that well, I... Well, they, they like the big booty on the young woman. Oh. See, but when you've aged a little bit, big booty means something totally different. <laughs> <laughs> so, totally different. Has a different connotation suddenly. Absolutely. You lose people. You just don't know what to do. Right, right. People drift away. <laughs> I, I understand. Yes, I understand. Right. I understand. <laughs> And, and probably there are times where just you're not used to it, you know, you're turning well, a corner. Well, I've knocked a lot of things over, you know, there you are, <laughs> you know, trying to get through the movie seats, you right, know, right. and you're hitting people in the face like right, this. Right, right. You're Slap, slapping them. You're like, them. I'm sorry, I'm so yeah. sorry, this is new, this is new, I'm yeah. not a, you know. This is not, you're also talking about, uh, about menopause in the show. Talking about menopause and its effect on guys, mm -hmm. and its effect on, you know, just life, because, you know, all of us are going through menopause, really, right. as we get used to this new world that we live in so right. it's a big change for everybody and so right. i i sort of melt it down to its simplest form which is menopause to right. talk about right and you know i well there are men who deal with aging and i talked a little bit about very funny joke in the monologue about impotence um uh, <laughs> well, you know i'll take that laugh and with a, editing i'll yeah, add it right. earlier <laughs> It seems to be a celebration, though, when you see the commercials for things like that. You know, the people are always dancing. It's like, impotence, yay! Because yeah. <laughs> they know there's right. a pill to keep the man going sure. for a while. But there's nothing like that. You see the women in the menopause commercial, they look like they're about to slit their own throat. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible, you know? Well, do you find, I mean, as, as, as women go through that change, they're supposed to become more emotional as, when they go right. through menopause. Do you think, is that true? To... Well, I, I, I have begun to, to find emotion in odd places, mm -hmm. TV commercials in particular. Oh, really? Yeah. What commercial yeah. gets you going? You know, the, I, I'm ashamed to tell you, but I'm going to. It's the Serta commercial with the sheep, where the lady is telling the sheep that she doesn't need them anymore. Because she's, she's <laughs> sleeping she's so well, there. right? She's sleeping so well. And I think, where are those sheep going to go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, just, that's hardcore sort of uh, amuse, emotional craziness when you're feeling bad for the cartoon sheep well, in a commercial. Yeah, but you know, they got numbers on. They can't just bust them up. I mean, it's right. just, it, and you start to look at yourself and you go, what is happening to me? Right, you catch yourself but weeping. You are weeping. Right, yeah. right. That's rough. Now, let me ask you about a big <laughs> trend. We're here in New York, but uh, but you know more about what's going on in Hollywood than I do. This I do. big trend towards. Oh, yes. Well, you do. You know, uh -huh. big celebrity, you meet all these people. Botox is huge out there. Botox, right. everyone's getting Botox. Is that something right. you would ever consider? Would you ever do Botox? <laughs> Where? <Yeah. laughs> 
Well, no. No, no. I'm not going to let somebody plunge a needle into my face. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Not shoot me with the, you know, botul it's botulism. That's the thing that blows my mind is it's the botulism virus I'm, yeah. or whatever, and they're injecting. So it's a poison that they're injecting into well, your face. It's the plague. Right. They're putting the plague in their body. Right. And right. then they're surprised when they get sick. <laughs> we get it. Right. I kind of right. go, okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think it would like be a good. Like swallowing uranium, and then you find out you're ill. I did that in the late 70s. Did you? I got an amazing high. It was incredible. <laughs> uh, you. Uh, you are. Uh, I, I'm. I'm guess you respond somewhat to the reality TV show craze a little bit because you know you, you can't escape the reality TV show no, craze it's now there, in America. It's there. And 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 the show you you've checked out is The Swan. Do you watch The Swan? I, I I've seen it once or twice, but it was a it, it, in a funny way for me. It's like Queen for a day. Mm -hmm. You know, you take the the worst story and you you know you say okay I'm gonna take the teeth out of your forehead and you know, <laughs> move your nose from under right. your chin, right, you know, right. and, then, and then I'm going to uh, put you in a beauty pageant. Right, and right. And you kind of wonder, you know, how many of these, because you can't tell them apart now. Right, right. So they all, it's like a, a whole world full of Barbies. Right, right. Well, the other thing they do that I've noticed is they do this, uh, is at the beginning of that show, they take women who aren't that attractive, but then to make the disparity, you know, much greater, they like throw dirt on them and mess. They like, they go over, they give them like an eye patch and a parrot on their shoulder yeah, and <laughs> to start with. And yeah. then they start by, well, first we're going to take that crap we put on you off. Uh, yeah, I mean, we it's, put a bucket it's on nice. your head. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but look at the magazines. I mean, from the time you were a little kid, you were either in the pretty column or the ugly column. And there's so many right. more of us in the ugly columns, you know, swimming to get to that other thing. Right. So this whole idea of having to conform, you know, is is to the character that I'm doing is right. is uh, a temptation because she's trying to hold on to something right. that is going to change whatever she does. You know, right. so right. she's she's fun. I like doing her. She's got a lot in common with me. And Fontaine, you know, is very political. Right, right. And uh, so you and have all these different characters. Let me I ask you them. one question, not about the characters. This is just about you what, and, and and your life. I've heard for many years. That you don't like to fly, and right. so that you drive everywhere in your own bus. Yes. Everywhere. Yeah. Now, have you ever, how do you get to Europe, or do you not go to Europe? I mean, boat. how do you boat? Yeah. Do you, you walk on, onto the boat or drive the bus onto the I boat? I walk onto. I'm carried onto the boat, Connor. <laughs> right. Right. I, I get on the on the on the boat, and then I I get over to London, and I get on another bus. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Right. Right. I but just don't like being up in the air. Right. You know. It's well, not right I'm, for me. I'm one of those people, I, you get, you, I think all of us get used to being on a plane, but I, I don't know if anyone else has this experience. I'll be on a plane, and I'll be like 40 minutes into the flight, and then I realize I'm in an aluminum tube that's being fired through yeah. the air at yeah. 500 miles an hour, yes. and I have a momentary freak out, and then I, you know, oh, look, uh, you know, Jingle All the Way is on, and I, I, I'm fine. <laughs> I calm down, but I'll be with you on the bus. Yeah, I can't I... handle it. I can't. I haven't been able to handle it for about ten years. It right. just, I just feel like I shouldn't be up there. Sure, right. Because you know, I've been in those flights where they go like this. Boom, 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 boom. Right, right, right. And when you get fifteen of those, it's kind of a message. Right, right. So it said, take your black behind off the plane. <laughs> get on the bus. A bus. Stay on and, the bus and be happy. Right, right. Yeah. Read, be comfortable. Yeah. Uh, well, let me make sure I mention Whoopi is playing at the uh, Lyceum Theater yes, it is. on Broadway, and tickets are available for twenty-five dollars. Some tickets are. Yeah, we want people to be able to come to the theater and have some fun. You know, people come and aren't going to like everything that's on stage right. when I'm doing it, but they're going to like a lot of it. So we're hoping that it brings a lot of folks out to have some fun. Well, go check it out, Lyceum Theater on Broadway, and there are some twenty-five dollar. Uh, tickets available. Whoopi, thank you so much for being here. It's Always great to have you on the show. Thank, thank you so much. She's doing great. Excellent. She's talking. Uh -oh. She's talking. Looks uh -oh. like that. Whoopi Goldberg, everybody. Danny Masterson coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.